Hello and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships, Season 27, Week 2, Round 2. My name is Boma Fett. I'm currently 2-2 two and two on the season. Let's see who my opponent is this round. EY 2097. Let's go to the Hotbot for a quick comparison. The Hotbot report shows a little bit more red on EY's side than there is green on my side, but it's the areas of red that are really important. So let's zoom in and take a closer look. This top section of GAC stats where I have a lot of green is mostly irrelevant. A lot of this is from the old system, but it does tell me that EY is a really, really good GAC player. Best score over 56k, lifetime banners over 900k, those are really solid numbers. And his current score is quite a bit higher than mine as well. So this is a very strong GAC player. Now the roster summary shows something really interesting. EY's overall galactic power is only about 100,000 more than mine. But if you look at the top 80 galactic power, EY has 240,000 more galactic power. That means that EY has a much more focused, top-heavy roster than I have. We are even in the number of Zetas at 158, and I have just a touch more speed added at the top of my roster. EY has 23 more Gear 13 characters, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but that is four more completely relic squads. I've got six more Gear 12 and 23 more Gear 11 and above. We're very close in terms of number of six stop mods, but I do have more mods with high speed secondaries. The relic summary shows that EY has nearly 200 more total relic levels. 460 to 265. EY has me on Galactic Legends 4 to 1. Now GAC history was not much help to me here. I like to look and see which GLs the opponent puts on defense so that I can plan, but EY changes up his defense all the time. He never puts zero GLs. It's always at least one and he never puts four, but it could be one, two, or three, and it could be any combination of these four GLs. So I really don't know what to expect. In the key characters and important ships, we both have 7 star executor, EY is missing Maul, and also has an undergeared Bad Batch Echo. Now based on the fact that EY's roster is not as deep as mine, that it's much more top heavy, I toyed with the idea of setting a very difficult defense and trying to stop EY, but the fact that he has 4 Galactic Legends to my 1, and I don't know what he's going to put on defense, I felt like I needed to save a lot more for offense, and so I did not go heavy defense. Let's go back to the game and I'll show you the board. So I don't want to throw complete garbage on defense, but I really want to save all my best squads for offense. Now he's already attacked, so let's take a look at what he did against my defense. And you can see all three squad zones cleared. One shots in the top zone. One shots in the bottom zone. And one against Darth Revan and Akbar, but two against Mon Mothma. If you had told me that one of my squads in the back was going to get a hold, I would have thought it would have been Darth Revan. But Mon Mothma came through and got a hold. In the fleets, the Executor held, and it looks like he does not have another squad. The other two got wiped out really quickly and easily. Let's check his defense. We've got Sith Eternal Emperor with both Watt and Armorer, a Newt Separatist squad, Bosk Bounty Hunters with Ami Zam, and Ami Qui-Gon Jinn. Now this Sith Eternal, I would normally take Grievous here, but with Watt and Armorer in there, I don't know if that counter works. So what I'm going to hope to do is wipe out the sides and just leave Sith Eternal, and then I'll try taking in my Wampa solo against Sith Eternal. I don't know if that'll work either, probably not. I've got the Omicron on Wampa, but I have not remodded her. 
In the bottom zone, there's a Mothma squad, an EP Vader squad with a Relic 3 Mara Jade, Kenobi Cat, and Grievous with IPD. So this is a really good defense. So we'll go against Kenobi here. So I hate using this comp because it's taking both of my best damage dealers, but it's got the best win percentage against Kenobi. It's still only about 70% according to SWGOH.GG, but hopefully I'm on the right side of that 70%. Okay, uh, we'll do this and call him. Perfect, perfect. Okay, we're going to pass turn meter to Jedi Luke, who will stun them. And... Uh, let's try and steal buffs and spread buffs. I don't know if that's the right move or not. We'll call Luke here. And now we'll mark. I've heard that marking snips actually works better. We're gonna try that. We're gonna try marking snips so that we can get one of them down as quickly as possible. Okay, good dodge there, Yoda. Mm, there's a high ground, we don't like that. Stay off my Jolie, please. Oh. Dirty. Oh, wow. Oh, no! Okay, so maybe going after Snips was the wrong move. Holy cow. Alright, so it looks like this GAC is over already. Maybe we can get her out. I'm not going to get out Snips at this point, so... Um, let's see. Did I just say I'm not going to get out Snips? I meant I'm not going to get out Cat. Ah. Oh, for shame. Well, I am on the wrong side of the 70%. <laughs> Oh, uh, and I didn't even get my ult off. Wow, I didn't kill anybody. That's terrible. Well, that's what I get for listening to rumors, what people said. Okay, we'll try Padme with Cat here. So their, um, their cooldowns are in a weird spot right now. So that may help me, it may hurt me. Uh, big hit. Oh, don't go after Cat, please. Okay, we want to do this. Keep him from taunting. We want to call the Mass Assist here. Call another mass assist. And now get rid of her. Okay. He's gonna get his high ground. Um. We go protection up. Okay, 
Retribution. Oh, don't kill Padme. Don't kill Padme, please. Please, please, please. Uh, I think that this cannot be dodged. Yeah, okay. He resisted the confuse there. That's not good. All right. Um, this has a really high chance of timing out. And I'm not going very quickly. So I may just have to put this on auto. Hate to do it, but might have to do it. Kick to the face. Let's get him out. Oh, that was just the savior. I thought I had already procced that. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna go auto for two and a half minutes. And I know that that seems early, but I can't tell you how many times I've timed out on this. A lot. Timed out a lot. Um, he's got damage immunity now. Darn it. So now I'm wasting all of these hits. Okay, got rid of her. That's good. He's gone. Get down, Kenobes. Get him, get him, get him. Go, go, go. Okay, high ground. Minute and a half. Oh, don't kill my cat. Please don't kill my cat. You'll notice I left Snips alive, and that's because them calling the assist and attacking out of turn actually helps my Padme team stay alive. So by keeping that other character alive, I think... My theory is that it actually helps me to not lose. But they're getting so many turns. Maybe maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe I should kill Snips. Maybe somebody can tell me in the uh, comments. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So many extra turns. Get him, get him, get him. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Ten seconds. So maybe you do need to kill Snips first. Woo! 42 banners with just a few seconds left. Okay, so forget everything that I said there about keeping Snips alive. Once I killed her, then Kenobi went down quick. So get rid of all the sides. Okay, I'm going to switch back up to the top. I think that I'm probably just in experiment mode right now. I don't think I have enough squads to full clear. So against this C, I'm really tempted to take my CLS here to try and get out Watt and the Armorer, but I think that maybe Grievous can do that. Can Grievous do that? Will I be able to clear all of them? Grievous with Newt, or do I go Grievous with Watt? We'll go Grievous with Newt. My goal here is not to kill C, it's to kill all the sides. He's gonna link Newt and Magna, because they're the two that are visible. Okay. Uh, Yeah, 
Yep, that's fine. Put that on what? Got the stun there, that's nice. Uh, let's do this. Oh, let's get him out, get him out, get him out. Okay, Watt's gone. Let's get rid of Armorer. I think maybe we go Sidious next. Because he has that healing immunity. Okay. Uh, maybe we do go after Sith Eternal. Okay, uh, let's get healing immunity on him. I don't know if extortion does anything to him, probably not. We'll heal up the B2 a little bit. Oh, uh, Lincoln Grievous now, okay. Healing immunity, please. Come on, I need that healing immunity. Ah, uh, ultimate. Okay. So they did their job. They got rid of the sides. Now I'm going to try Wampa. Don't expect this to work. I have not remodded my Wampa. His health is just not high enough. But we'll try it. Okay. Do that. Roar. Oh, Wampa does a lot of damage. We'll roar again. We're trying to get the healing immunity when we roar. And it's just not landing. Come on. There it is. The problem is, he takes so many turns in a row that he clears that healing immunity before I even get my next attack. Counterattack, man. Counterattack. So we'll do that to get back some protection. Roar again. Roar again. Get back some protection. Not really doing any damage at this point. And the idea is you just build up your damage so much over time that eventually you almost one-shot him. Roar again. Come on, get that damage immunity. Or healing immunity, I mean, not damage immunity. Healing immunity. Roar again. Healing immunity. Thank you. Healing immunity. Please, come on. Protection up. Roar. If 
I got some counterattacks, that would help. But I am just not getting any counterattacks. Is that is that debuff? Does that prevent counterattacking? Or again. Protection up. There we go, counterattack. Almost got him. Counterattack. Counterattack. Come on. It worked. Look at that. Amazing. Well, now I need to figure out what to do with the rest of this. So I'm going to take a short break and then I will come back and see if I've got enough to clear. Okay, so we're going to shift back down to the bottom zone. And we're going to go after this EP Vader squad. And here's the thing. I've got CLS available. I've got General Skywalker available. But according to SWGOH.GG, EY loves to put Darth Revan and or General Skywalker in the back zone. So I feel like I need to save my two best squads remaining just in case those are back there. So that means that here, what do I have? Well, I'm going to go with Imperial Troopers. His Vader is pretty slow. Okay, we'll put this on this guy. And now we're going to push back their turn meter, I think. And to buy Mara. Okay, we've got Royal Guard here that we've got to get rid of. We'll do this. Almost got RG down. There he goes. Beautiful. We'll armor Shred here. Get rid of Vader. Excellent. Take out Thrawn next. There it is. 65 banners worked brilliantly. Now I've never faced a GG with IPD, at least not that I can remember. Maybe way, way back. But certainly not recently. So I'm going to go with my Bad Batch here. I normally don't use Bad Batch against Grievous because they are undergeared. But since I'm trying to save my other squads, I'm going to go Bad Batch here. This could be a huge mistake because of that IPD. I just don't know. I didn't check their speeds. I hope they're not too fast. Okay. So we'll do this. And now, let's see if we can get some stuns on them. Okay, nice. More stuns. I think we want to get rid of IPD so that he cannot uh, explode on us. But Grievous will. There we go. Well, it looks like... Yeah, I was going to say B2 is about to die too. Okay, there's the mark on Magna. Okay, we're just down to Grievous. We can stun him. I don't know if the stun would stick. I mean, we could stun him. But, you know, when you stun him, he just shakes it off. Hey, this should do it, though. 64 banners is beautiful.
And against Mon Mothma, we'll take our Iden Versio. We're going to go after Katarn first. We'll stun him. Oh, I did the wrong move. That's okay. We got another move right away. So that's okay. That actually might have worked out better because it gave my guys all the damage up. Okay, the back and forth with Biggs. Pump our turn meter. Let's go Wedge next. We'll keep our Taunt up. Okay, Katarn is back. Uh, we'll do this. We got a stagger, that's nice. We take out Katarn again. Katarn it. Uh, and the yo yo again. Let's death mark wedge. Uh, I shouldn't have done it. I saw that his turn meter was really high. I should have waited. We'll get rid of him. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw this. A couple of dodges there by Biggs. Let's see if we can stun Biggs. No, of course not. Really need the taunt up on my uh, Shore Trooper. Ooh, we got the stun there. That's beautiful. Thank you, thank you. I'll get rid of him. Good counter-attacking there against Lando. She still hasn't summoned the uh, trooper. We'll get rid of Lando if we can. Uh, let's death mark him. This will get rid of him, and he won't be able to come back. We're halfway through the battle now. I'm suspecting she is going to be uh, rezzing somebody soon. Or summoning the extra guy. Summoning the extra guy might be helpful, actually. Oh, the daze is nice. Oh, she cleansed it. I really need that mass assist here. Stun him. Yes, there we go. All right, 65. Let's see what's in the back. All right, we've got an Iden, undergeared Iden, Night Sisters, and Karth. So I was saving my CLS and my gas for nothing. Well, not for nothing. Not for nothing. All right, I'm going to take a few minutes to plan and then come back. Okay, we're going to jump back in up top here. And I'm going to do something that might be a little bit risky, but I think it should work. And that is, I'm going to take my Night Sisters against this Newt squad. Now, I don't expect this to get good banners, but I think it should work. I mean, Night Sisters work against Geonosians, they work against Grievous. I think they should work here, just so long as they don't kill old Daka. Okay, let's get rid of the taunt. Beautiful. Okay, that's fine. That actually got rid of the extortion. Uh, we'll... um, let's get rid of all of their buffs. Beautiful. We'll put the flag on everyone. This will get a counterattack from a couple of them. Yep. Get 
get a stun. No stuns. Why are we not getting stuns? Ah, oh, see, they're getting stuns. No problema. Okay. Keep hitting that, uh, that flag. Oh, now they're going after Daka. What did I say about not killing Daka? Jerk. Okay, let's get rid of the damage immunity on that droidica. Get some assisting from the grave, which is always nice. Spy is available. Let's see if we can get rid of Spy. There we go. Beautiful. We'll put some more plague on them. Oh, don't do that. You jerk. Oh, we're ability blocked too. Okay, res. There's Droidica. Bring him out of stealth. Okay, so like I said, not good banners, but it should work. Maybe I can get a heal here, please. I'm not gonna get a heal. Okay, so 59? Yeah, 59. Bad banners, but I'm happy to get rid of that squad with minimal investment. Against Qui-Gon, we're going to take General Skywalker. Now, there's no way to yeet out Anakin or to stun them or anything like that. Um, but just having gas there, when Anakin does his big hit, it will knock gas down. Oh, it didn't even knock gas down. Wow. Oh, you know why? Because Old Ben is in there. With Old Ben in there, that means that it's not all... Um, Galactic Republic Jedi. So when it's not all Galactic Republic Jedi, you do not get uh, that extra bonus. Okay, now he's going to sit. And 60 banners. Yes, boss will take CLS. I already used 3PO, so we're going to put in Captain Han here. Now, I probably don't need a fifth at all, but there's no bonuses for, I mean, it's, it's one banner for undersizing, right? And it's not like the old days where there were feats where you had to undersize. What does this do? Dispel all debuffs on Han and another target ally. We'll blind them all. Now we'll go back after Zam. There we go. We'll do this. We'll get rid of him. We'll go after Boba. Okay, there's one for Boba. Do this. There we is nice. Okay, so banners look like they may not be great here because of Dengar the banner stealer. I really wish this move healed as well as revived. All right, 64, not bad. Able to recover some of those banners through assisting. Is 
There is the executor. So that's what it's going to come down to. Can I clear his ships or not? Come back over here. I am going to try a nest solo against this Iden squad. Now here's the thing, Iden squads revive and revive and revive. So I think what I want to do is put Wat Tambor with Nest and then put the weapons tech on Nest. The other option is to use Wat against the Talzin squad and prevent the Night Sisters from reviving. But I think I want to try the Nest solo here. I know it's not really a solo if she's got someone else with her. Nest and Wat. This is just kind of a proof of concept for me. Okay, weapon stack, right? Weapon stack. There. And counterattacking. Uh, this. So my one concern is that if they kill Watt, then they're going to be able to death mark Ness. Oh, they got the stun, really? That is crazy, because I have a super high tenacity nest. I just don't know if I'm going to have enough uh, damage here. Okay, I'm going to put this on auto, and we'll see what happens. Six banners. So I like the way that worked. Clearly, I should have been targeting Aiden from the beginning. If you can get Aiden out, the team will fall apart. But it just didn't occur to me until two thirds of the way through the battle that that's what I should be doing. Just because you always save Aiden to last, right? Because you have to. But not when Watt's in there and you can perma kill her. I'll do this here. Probably don't need TFP. So yeah, Watt would be great here because put the weapons tech on Vader and then permakill, you know? Um, so that, that definitely would have been nice. But not needed. There we go, 66. The bounty hunters against Karth. Roar. We'll try and stun mission. Oh, we'll just kill mission. Oh, I'd like to be able to stun candy. But I guess we have to go after Zalbar. Uh, we'll do this. Call another mass assist there. We'll roll out some thermals. We'll roar again. We'll take out Ness. 
Still stuck behind this pond. Okay, let's pop the thermals. Make sure everybody's all healed up. And there we go, 65. So 1364. So we'll be going malevolence against the executor. Let the RNG fest begin. Okay. Fine. Okay. Hmm. I would have preferred that you not do that. We'll go ahead and put Buzzfloids on them all. Now, do we get lucky? We did. Yes. Okay. Tap over here. Let's clear the target lock. I'll put more buzz droids. Mm, it cleared right off. That's annoying. Foresight over there, so we go here. Bring in Sunfat. Fuzzies. Hmm. Call the Mass Assist. Almost got down Boba. Ooh, there's their contract. Okay, goodbye Boba. Next turn is my ult. Will I beat their ult? That is the question. Nope, darn it. This is going to be a loss. The question is, can I clean it up with anything? The answer is, I don't know. We'll go Negotiator against the Home One. Okay, we're gonna go after that guy first. There we go, beautiful. We'll hit Biggs with the buff immunity. Oh, stupid Falcon. Okay, can we get to Falcon before? No, 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 no. Um, ooh, maybe I bring in fives and do a big hit. That might take out the Falcon. Yes. Okay, seventy one. 
Okay, I'm going to take my home one against the Thrawn fleet. And maybe this isn't the smartest thing to do. I feel like this Thrawn might be a trap. The TIE Bomber is not in the starting lineup, but it may be waiting to come off the bench. Wiggle. Let's get rid of Vader. Okay, that guy's taunting. Okay, goodbye, Vader. Yep, 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 yep. Um, Bring in this guy so that we can get our reinforcements in more quickly. There we go, nicely done. Seventy-four banners, that should be enough to win. Fifteen thirteen to fifteen oh six. All right, let's see if we can do anything here. We'll take in Hux. And we'll save the rest of that garbage just in case we want to try Thrawn and see if we can live long enough to terminate the uh, Houndstooth. Alright, so there is the score, 1513 to 1506. There is just over an hour left, so maybe he'll come back and try again against the executor. We'll have to wait an hour and see, but right now it is looking good. Alright, so the attack phase is over. EY did not come back and try and clear. I guess he figured he didn't have anything that would work there. So the final score is 1513 to 1506. Even with dropping one battle to each GL, I was still more efficient than EY, who only dropped one battle to my Mon Mothma squad. So I would like to thank EY2097 for the match, and thank you all for watching. I will see you next round.